You want to just tell the girls how this is going to go and then Am I first? Gonna, yes, cuz you're first. Okay. Um so I'm going to go I'm going to give you my top 10 K-pop songs of the year. As soon as the slide cuts, the song should start. Hopefully this is how this works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so it'll play like the chorus and then I'll talk about like why I picked it and then we'll go into RJ's top 10 and there's more to come after that but okay so my number 10 if you want to just keep an eye on the chat if any berets okay. if you want to highlight any chats because I I'll have to be on the, the share screen okay okay number 10 here we go number 10 <laughs> Um, guys, I don't <laughs> what know what to surprise. tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, I. Taeyong is my old bias. And it's currently, I'm going to be real honest, it's, it is very currently neck and neck with Kim Tae. So we are really in a. You Kim and the off. Kim Tae's. The Kim Tae's. The Kim Tae's are actually killing me. <laughs> um, Yeah, I love this man. Whenever, when this solo album has been discussed in army lore for like three fucking years now it's been going on for forever that he's been talking about making an album and um oh <laughs> why is Friedrich look mad <laughs> um so the whole time purpose. i've been waiting oh. hold hoping that hoping that it was going to be a jazz influenced moment and i think of all the songs on the album, I think Slow Dancing has the most jazz kind of inspired feel. Very chill, laid back vibe. Um, it's very Young, and I love him so much. So that's why I picked it. Very funny because I was going to pick this song in my top 10 as well. Wow. And I did cheat. And I, I am I very it. shocked. I, I am very interested to see what your top 10. I, you know mine because you had yeah. to put together the slideshow. Um, I don't know what yours is, and I'm very interested. Yours is definitely going to have more girl groups than Yeah, I, yeah. I but truly, out of his entire album, this was like the standout for me. Although the, his whole album is very much great. This was the standout for me. Okay, your number great. nine. Number nine. <laughs> Wow. Just <laughs> say so, so Just so long ago. I mean, oh my god, it's so long ago. Babe babe this was this was the moment in culture this was it this was the girl this was the show the whole show boys planet was like find the brightest shiniest boys and then they really didn't do any bright. in terms of original songs yeah love me right was the closest kind of brightest oh and i guess Aju nice but yeah yeah but like in terms of like original songs, this is the only one they did that was like full right. bubblegum candy, like very early NCT dream mm -hmm. of just bright colors. And it's so good. The like the choreo is so cute. Everyone's I just like the fact that all five of these people have debuted is yeah. so fitting. Sung on sounds so good in this song. Mm -hmm. Matthew's face. Oh God, I just want to live this moment again for the first time to be able to like watch this in real time because I my heart was beating so fast when this happened. Yeah. It was so good. Um, so yeah, this was my say my name. Okay, so um stay stay tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned, Eddie. I predict Jelly Pop will probably happen, but I don't, it's not gonna be on mine. I'll tell you that right now. This is my, I did one, I tried to do one person. I can see you coming back for more. Coming back 
coming back for more. If you are not that good, I can't see you coming back for more. Please coming back for more. If you are not that good, I can't see you coming back for more. Please coming back for more. If you are not that good. Hi Brazil. Hi Brazil. Anita ate the song up. I try I wanted to do the chorus for everything, but I really should have just done her verse because she verse, eats yeah. this up. She, it's such a bummer that this that the one with Anita is not on the album because mm-hmm. she's so good. This music video is so hot, but it's so simple. Yes. But it's done so it's executed so well. The mm-hmm. boys are so good. This is way better than their Joe Bros song. I'm so sorry to tell you. I don't even I don't even dislike the Joe Bros song. No. But this is so fucking good. This, this was a so moment good. as opposed to the Joe Bro song being like just and Fun. and this, yeah. Yeah. This was and this came out of fucking nowhere. Like Ooh. they hyped up the Joe Bros one for so long and then uh-huh. they just like dropped this yeah. because they were going to perform with her at the what was it AMAs? I don't remember. Um anyway, this song is so good. TXT's discography remains truly Untouched, one of the best in K-pop. You can uh, it's it is nearly unskippable. Yeah. I um it was so I only tried to pick one song per group. Hmm. Um and this was my TXT, and it was between this or um my blue spring because flowers the first time i heard it flowers mm-hmm. the first time i heard it was at the concert that i went to in april mm-hmm. uh and i was like crying so hard so i almost picked that but i, I think this song is so good this i mean so good. i was gonna pick sugar rush ride but i yeah. didn't end up picking it because it felt like truly two years ago that the song came out yeah <laughs> But the 2023 was a very long year. Yeah. So I didn't pick Sugar Rush Ride, but that would have been in my top 10. I have a, yeah. I had a lot of constellations, unfortunately, and I um, just couldn't fit. Just 10. I could have easily done a top 20. I could have easily done a top 20. Yeah. But I in terms of, you know, time for the for, for everybody. The, yeah. Yeah. We wanted yeah. to spare you that. Yeah. OK, number seven. Oh, I forgot to put it in. So. I um, I'm so happy you put the song in because I was gonna put the song in and I cheated and I saw that you did. So I was like, okay, thank God, I am reprieved because truly one of the best songs of the year. This is absolutely. I could. I easily could have made this my number one song of the year. This is periodity. Period. This is this the study of which that beat study? that that beat is so 1994. <sighs> It's the so, co- the costuming, the, the way everything looks, the, the video, the choreography, the whole thing is the music perfect. promotions where they were like, "We'll do the '90s yes. versions of Inky Gaio of Music Bank." Bitch, bitch, bitch. they ate this up they ate so this hard. Up. They ate this up, and y'all didn't want to give them one, one, one number one, one win. This is so fucking good. This song is in. Incredible nostalgia deja vu. So I like I'm coming back to I have, oh I my like god P Nation. I loved P Nation, and then there was a little bit of bit of a like lag. Like, okay, what's P Nation gonna do now? When P Na- when they came out with this, I was like, this is what I think Psy does best. Like, kind of like just just like an enthused fun. Just like feels like everyone can get into it. Yes, I'm like ah. Oh, I want this to be TNX's thing. 
This is so. I hope that this is like becomes kind of like their identity, not necessarily the '90s, but just like yeah, just the fun that this has, like the classic boy idol. Yes. Craze. Yes. You know, it's so So good. good. This song is so good. Go stream it right. Turn the zoom off. Turn off the zoom. (laughs) Uh, Okay, number six. I truly don't even remember what order I put stuff in. Bitch. I Bitch. <laughs> Sis. And you know, what, you know what it is? The idols of my idols are my idols. Yes. Yes. Say that. Seeing, I truly seeing, seeing Taemin live in person at KCON was a revelatory experience for I me. wish you guys could see. I wish you saw us because we were silent the entire time. I didn't before. I didn't open my mouth. I didn't open One my mouth. might have looked at us and been like, oh, they're not enjoying they're not into- it. But no. I felt like we I were was like entranced. Like genuinely. We were like. The fact that this man is younger than me also freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. Um, and I will say to Eddie's question, okay. Was it the song or was it you half-assingly doing the challenge? He's like, you just want the abs, girl. You just want the abs. Here's the thing. The song is great. And I like like the video to the song a lot. And I think there's something to be said. And I'm not saying anything. I think there's something to be said about Taman coming back from the military and the song styling. And like, it's like kind of like a camp something but like like, there's a bunch of people touching each other it's just all very there feels there's very there's something like expressive about it like it feels like a could this have been a movie they premiered on logo do you know what i mean yes like it feels like i'm gonna take my experiences yes and apply it feels it like artistically some, something, something happened. happened. I don't know what, but I don't know happened. what. But, but here's I think what I'm gonna happened. say: it is also it's those things. The song is really good. Blah blah blah. His he's great, but it is also the da- the challenge. Is it's like a into. release. It feels it feels cathartic. Oh, that's what it that's is. Psycho. This song is crazy. My personal favorite challenge. Guilty challenge G-U-I-L-T-Y. was Fuma from NT. I mean, that was revelatory to me to know that. Re- that's revelatory. Relevant. Revel- revelatory. Re- no, revelatory. Do you guys want a hang- hangover? Hey, hangover? Hangover? Do you guys want a hangover? Um, yeah, Fuma and team was like my favorite guilty challenge. I liked the one. I liked well, the one that we reacted to when all four of them did it together. Oh yes, from yeah. the from the. Yes, but I had no idea Fuma fucking had that. Okay, all in there. We can move on. Okay, number five. Oh, oh, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I actually feel like there's nothing I need to say other than my job moved this year. 
I have a very unique job in which my job location changed for a variety of circumstances. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there are many mattress firms in the in the country, you're right? <laughs> and, and I had to. Uh, I was under a lot of stress because a lot of the administrative tasks of that move fell to me uh, because yes. I'm the only one who does that stuff. And I had this on repeat for a while where I was just like, this is the only thing that is getting me through through is BSS telling me it's going to be okay. You can keep finding. It's so good. And the, and the, I should have put, I should have put featuring, um, Youngji. Youngji. I should have put that on the title. I forgot, but her, her rap is so good too. (sighs) There's truly nothing to say because. This is one again one of it's, the best. What it's so good. And this is the song that it's like the idols of my idols are my idols. Like K pop girlies lo- the idols loved this song. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Fast forward. <laughs> I'm so into voguing right now. Girls in one style, got it all. Diamond kiss, head to toe. Sunshine, got the glow. Need you that, never go. One stop, domino. That's how quick you make me fall. So Okay, there are multiple reasons. There are First multiple of all, reasons. It's so also, clearly made for gay men. Absolutely. <laughs> number two. Number two. The her her bit of the one stop got to go mm-hmm. is so clearly a Madonna a Vogue, Vogue reference. reference. Absolutely. So clearly. Three. Her backup dancers are so cunty. The whole thing it's, is so good. The it's... fact that multiple girl group videos this year though had the like girls in glasses and then like. Is uh-huh, snatched uh-huh. halfway through the video is really funny to me. The black and multiple groups. It's so funny. Um this is um this so this song was one that I was gonna put in, but I didn't because I saw that you put it in. So I was like, great, don't have to worry about that. This song, this song will get gay quality in Korea. This this is the one to do. This it. is gonna be the song that gets mm-hmm. it there. There is something about okay. Black she should have performed. She should have performed this at like one of the end of year shows, and then had she just, did. She did it at Mama. No, she and then listen, and then she should have had just ZB one as the backup. I dancers. know, <laughs> or just like I recruited all of these boys, and it's nine nine. It's mm-hmm. one us, you know. Mm-hmm. Just get the cuntiest. Mm-hmm. Um, she her. Hers. Her, she, and I think that's all. <laughs> this is the girl. This, this song is, is so. This song good. is so good. She, this is gonna get. She's gonna be booked she's every. Gonna be booked. June oh, this is what I was gonna say. For the rest of her life. Black label. There could be a thing of like Teddy realizing, oh, like gay people exist. Gay people love Black Pink and So Me. Why don't I just lean in on that? Is black is black label? No. Wait. Black Label is under YG. I it is a YG that. subsidiary. But Black Label is that specifically Teddy runs. So the the big This whole, doesn't sound like a Teddy song. I know. So that's why I'm like there is something that I feel like so me could really set a path of like our big the big consumers of girl group K-pop in like America and then in Europe are gay mm-hmm. men. So let's really mm-hmm. capitalize on it. Mm-hmm. And also, I believe so. Me is like, bitch. I lived in America. I know gay people. I'm dancing with them right now. Yeah, they love K-pop. Let's like give them a reason to love this. Mm-hmm. Because even in the the music video, it's it's so gay. So like, it's so gay. I just I need so me to do the damn thing. It takes you know, and I think that's important for for a woman to to carry the responsibility. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's so good. It's the so only good. thing I don't like about this video is some of her styling. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But that's that's when the YG comes in, where it's just like that's, flash. Like that's just, the YG. Just crystals. Just crystals. 
<laughs> crystals in front of a diner. They Teddy loves. Uh, they love putting, a diner. Why does YG diner. love a diner? They love a diner, and they love putting them in like either a fast car or a fast motorcycle. Fast motorcycle, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's Canadian. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. She was also the Mangne in in the produce. She was the Han Yu Jin. In which one? The first one or the second in one? The, yes, the first one, AOA. Oh, wow. AOA? No. Girls, please, <laughs> berets, please fact check on me. Okay. Number three. You're number three. I mean, this is... Oh, it looks so good in there. Who is your bias in you jeans? Do you have one? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know that I don't know their personalities know well, well enough, enough yeah. to pick a bias. But we talked about this in my actual K-pop ERG at work yesterday. That there's, you know, there's a difference between a fan and a stan. Do you You're... know what day this came out? OMG? Yes. No. January 2nd, 2023. <laughs> Wow. They, I, th it's, I mean, this song is. <sighs> Wait, if that's the case, then I think a song, one of my picks is not 2023. <laughs> what song did you pick? Oh, well, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah. This song is, I, I cannot I believe this song. And honestly, anyway. but honestly, this music video is the best music video this year. It is so it's so good. It reminds me of um, uh, Eternally by TXC, the music video. Oh, yes. And how there's like a full story happening in this music video. It's not just... And I think they a lot of their songs do that. Super Shy doesn't really, but mm -hmm. like... Um, okay, I'm going to fix something. ETA. So if you, if you, wanna, if you want to... Um, Take over. Vamp. Just vamp a little bit. Um, I think ETA has like a storyline too. A lot of their stuff has storylines, but like this one and the way that it's meta, there's the part of the music video where they cut to and you realize they're like being filmed in the music. Like you see the camera crew and it's like, there's yeah. there's so much going on in that music video and it is, you could spend hours thinking about it and dissecting it. It's just so smart. The song is so good. The girls are, what I like about New Jeans, and I think part of this is because some of them are really young but like mm -hmm. i think there is a level that they're so they're not fully polished yes. yet they're, and yeah. so they're yeah. like there's a part where she who is it that's on the train is it Hayen? yeah Hayen, yeah so she like goes to hold she goes to put her hand on the bar of the train and she kind of almost misses it and you see like a moment where she's like oh fuck Mm -hmm. But the fact that they leave that in and don't make them look perfect, I think it like adds to it They're, feeling like yeah, it's it, the whole that whole video is so like weird, off putting, but not in like a negative way, but just in like a you can you can feel the like push and pull of mm -hmm. I, it's so it's so good. There is also a moment in Ditto. So spoiler, that's what I'm trying to fix right now. I had Ditto in here, but I realized that was oh, in that's 2022. 2022. Yeah, even though. It was part of the 2023 album release. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pre pre album release. Yes. Um, there's a moment in Ditto where I think it was Daniel or Hani gets the choreography wrong. She gets the it's one oh, of the yes. takes where she gets it wrong. She realizes mm -hmm. she's they're not starting in the same place that she thought they were, and they kept it in the cut because the whole video is like these are girls hanging out and they're just goofing off. Yeah. And but that was a genuine mistake that she did. That yeah. it was like, oh, let's not do that take, but they yeah. kept it. And it's just like that's the that's that's what I love about them. Yeah. They they just feel like real. I don't know. They both feel not real because I I don't know them super well. Yeah. They do kind of not feel real to me, but they do feel more real than some other groups. I don't know how to explain it. It's so weird. I think they're such a cool, I think they're really cool. I they have really great music. I almost I it was between this or super shy. I did not pick super shy. I know. I was trying not to pick super shy as well. Because I don't want to be like Rolling Stone. <laughs> super shy. That's what we're trying to, you know, 
stand apart. I mean, from the, them, I, I will, I'll say right now, I really try. It's very hard for me because I'm such a hype stand because that's where I like I started yeah. learning K-pop. I understand that this is very hype heavy. I apologize. I do not have yeah, any, I... any JYP on here. Um, but because mostly I'll say this, I didn't love S class like mm. I wanted to. I think it's good. But I love Maniac in case one, four, three and Thunderous. So like those agree. three in a row are like peak for me. Yeah. And who's who's their other? Is it is Treasure JYP too? Yes. Girl, I'm not. They have. And then they just. Girl, they, I'm not doing that. They. <laughs> that's not for me. And they you had, know what, that's for some people, but that's not for me. They had Nitsu, which was their Japanese twice, basically, that they formed in the show. Mm. And they just did their Korean. Um, oh, Treasures YG. That's right. That's right. Oops. 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 Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, then Treasures YG. Okay. All right. We're back. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. So I think that's all I need to say about OMG. Yeah. Okay. You're number two. Ready? Mm-hmm. You're getting emotional. <laughs> I the phrase tell me is it real is I would really seared into my brain yeah I mean that I would say a, a good uh 2023 summary yeah because this I mean zero base one this nonsense we're doing is this real <laughs> So it doesn't feel like this. This and my next song, my number one, are like my summarization of you and I, our trajectory in 2023, and like what has happened. And uh, I can't even tell you what I. I couldn't even tell you what we would be doing this year. I had my I truly. It does feel like my life has changed. Yeah, I'm really trying not to be like haha or what. I just like. I it feel I am not doing the same thing I was doing this time last year. Let's say that. Yeah, let's say that. Last year we were watching Singles Inferno at your mom's house. <laughs> good no, no. So Daniel, Daniel wants to know if Good Night is my PO one. Good night is not my PO one. Um This is your only Z B one. This is my only Z B one song. Uh and I I think I love Good Night. And I think I probably do actually like Good Night a little bit more than Back to Zero Base. But I think Back to Zero Base is the perfect opening of that album. It's yeah. just, it's. It's such a storybook once upon a time. I just get very emotional anytime that song plays to the fact that sometimes I literally have to skip it because I can't listen to it. It's like actually a problem. Uh, but um, I'm very, I'm always very proud of them, and I feel very crazy. So we, we are crazy. On. We are doing a Zoom webinar. I know, I know. It's the end of the ropes for us. Girl. Okay, drop your drop your guesses of PO one. Drop drop your guesses of PO one. I think this is gonna. Uh, I think this will kind of surprise people. I think if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I had a real moment with this song earlier in the year. Oh, really? I actually don't remember what this. Oh, yes, I do know what it is. Okay. So we'll give we'll give people time to guess um, what my PO one is. Everyone, get in on the Zoom. Make sure you use the chat. Got a little sir. Um, did you finish your coffee? I so I got a pistachio pandan latte with a shot of espresso. Is it good? Yeah. I love a pistachio latte. Did you say 
a pistachio latte with a shot of espresso and then pandan which is like a yeah but that's what a latte is it has a shot of espresso already you don't have to emphasize that it has I know, a shot I added, of espresso I added an extra shot. oh it's an there's an extra shot yeah i had to wake up for this zoom <laughs> okay people are you know what's funny everyone is saying and <laughs> It's not in hyping, guys. And hyping did not make my list this year because I, I did not. You know what it is. I haven't. Okay, well, let me say this. I have. We have not listened to Sweet, Sweet Orange. Venom. What is it? Like, what orange. is it called? Orange juice. Orange blood. Yeah. Orange juice. We didn't listen to Orange Juice yet because but I can't speak on that because we're gonna react to it. We can tell because that. we're gonna react. Yeah, we're gonna react to it as soon as we finish Island. Island. Um, which technically we did. We just re recorded it our last week yes. up yesterday. Um, but I didn't I didn't get into the B side. I didn't love Bite Me and I didn't get into the B sides uh on Dark Blood like I should have. Um macaroni cheese. So it's not Jungkook. Isn't it crazy that I could I easily could have made this a Jungkook V um Oh girl, I could have put all i restrained myself i could have put in yoongi's entire album on I, truly, because it's yes, so good truly i could have put amygdala is oh what's the song with the guy oh the one with the rose yes yeah oh <gasps> so yeah. good okay here we go on a girl group it is yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm great. I work, get paid, thank God. All day, I'm not in Joe, I'm yeah yeah big i mean as as a corporate office we support office workers office work office work media yeah girl adam this is your top song of 2020 this is the this is my this favorite is your song, best of song of 2023 this is your favorite song of 2023 yes it's not even the one that made my Spotify rap because I don't even think I played it that much, but it is, it's, this is like, you just got paid. You're going, you're leaving your office. You're going out to the club. You're and you're like, I'll bar, buy the first round. Let's and do I'll shots. buy the first round. Let's do shots. Oh, guys, this song is so good. This music video is so weird. <laughs> he is so gay in this music He's video. So that gay in this video. I had to choose that section because why is he wearing a corset and pearls? Because we you know same reason why Taman did the guilty. <laughs> this is the song that truly almost cool as <gasps> okay cool as cool this as. is I it was truly I was sitting there trying to figure out if I was gonna pick good and great or cool as and cool as is also a gay bop. I only picked good and great because I like the lyrics of I'm, I'm grateful. Like I really, that's how I feel about 2023 is I'm really, I don't, I know this was not a great year for everybody. I'm not trying to say that. I just felt like for me, I was very grateful for everything that's happened to me personally this year. Um, So I, it just really resonated with me specifically. And he is talking about all 10 icons when he say, when he says what he's grateful for. Yeah. I'm grateful for all the money I've spent on CB1 merchandise. <laughs> Uh yeah, he ate this up. I don't know what to tell you. This is the song that truly, and I probably will in 2024. I think I'm gonna become a shawal. I think this is gonna send me into oh, the deep dive. spiral. Okay. Yeah, I think it's happening. That was me happening. with honestly. Um, when Boys Planet, when Kong and Hong Hai performed, um, oh yeah, you, you. I was like. This song came out when I was listening to K. Like if I was listening to K-pop at the time this song came out, I I would be obsessed with these boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. I'd like to shout out. I don't think he's on yours, so I'll shout him out. I also yes, let's do our shout out slide. I'm also gonna say the ones that you're not gonna see in my list because I had okay. to pick ten. Right. 
Um, I want to shout out Rover by Kai. Park Hanbin's favorite song, Rover. Yes, absolutely. Um, I want to shout out uh, uh, Seven by John Jungkook. <laughs> absolutely. Lotto ate it up. And I wish because of love. <laughs> and I wish, I wish, I wish 3D was with like Missy Elliott. <laughs> that is my one takeaway from from 3D. Yeah. So I wish it was a female artist. Sorry, yeah. Jack, but yeah. Um, oh, but the sitting next to you, Usher, is so good, Adam. Oh, oh yeah, I watched it. It's good. It's good. What are you? Um, I'll throw out. Um, I'll I'll do a special shout out on um, Roller Coaster and Party O'Clock by N Mix. I saw them. I when I saw them in KCon, I was like, "This is a little Fruitiger Arrow," and Ooh. I watched the videos N Mix. So that's a oh right, 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 right. Um, shout out TGIF by XG. Um, oh yeah, that is one of my top songs of the year, and I really wanted to put it in the list because at Sidetrack. There was this guy who danced to it when they asked, because they do a thing of like, who's your favorite group? And then you, you, if you dance to it, the crowd loves it. We'll give you a prize. And Miss Girl danced to TGIF. And I was like, this song is so cunty. I love it. It's so good. Um, I'll put I'll put Melting Point in there. Melting Point is currently my favorite Zero Base One song. <gasps> wow. Um, yeah, it's so good. I think that the perfect release of it coming out this winter is like Kismet, Serendipitous. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Okay. So there you go. That's my ten, or that's my shout outs before my ten. Great. Here we go. Number ten. <laughs> Girl. This was my <laughs> biggest takeaway from Queendom Puzzle. Mm. This song eats, this song slaps, this song is like, let's bottle up what RJ's peak music taste is, which is like this 90s R&B sound. Yeah. I have listened to this song so many times that I have now distinguished voices clearly. In mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there is something in Over water. Over water. Here, I'll oh, I'll it, but this part. A part in Doa's voice that I was like, I I am obsessed with this song. Is this the only is this the only Queen and Puzzle song? My you only have? Queen and Puzzle song that I have. You okay, said that I, I was gonna put Snap in here. I didn't I I almost put Snap on mine because I thought you were gonna put it on yours. That's why I didn't put it on mine. Snap mm -hmm. is my and then you didn't say it during your thing. So I was like, oh okay. Yeah. Uh so I almost put Snap in my top ten. Yeah. Snap is so Snap good. is so good. It's so good. From the front to back, see honey, a we go. It's so good. Yes, I'm obsessed with the song. I love the song. None of these girls made it to the final group, None. but shout out to them. Okay. They really ate this up. Period. Okay. Number nine. Great. Oh. I'm actually going to show you my favorite part of, of Jelly Pop, which is, I think you know. Oh, oh, oh spoiler! <laughs> Oh, baby, 
a house tiny little glittery way. It's that. It's this part right there. It's the Gunnuk smacking Park Hunbin's ass. It is the best part of the song. Camden's rap is so good in this song. How is like center as a cunty center? It's so good. How many times did you watch? How, how many times did you and I both watch, watch Parkhan Bin's video so he could be peel the he audition be center? for yes. Center? I watched it of so many Parkhan times. Parkhan Bin popping his pussy so hard. Oh my god, it's so crazy that in the last week Parkhan Bin truly was my PO one. I was like, he is gonna sneak in there. Yeah. <sighs> Ugh. Rip. Jelly Pop was my favorite song coming out of Boys Planet, period. Imni Da. <laughs> Shut up. Um, it is such a great song. I cannot believe we it's still so don't good. have an OT9 studio recording of it. Wait, Waytech sounds so Waytech, good on this song. This is the best. His vibrato is so like perfectly placed on this song. It's so good. This 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 song is very well cast. Yeah. I know we're all still mad. I will never forgive you, Sung Han Bin of Jay, right? Not getting a bigger vocal. I will never forgive you, Sung Han Bin. I will never forgive you, Sung Han Bin. Iconic tweet. I will never forgive you, Sung Han Bin. Iconic tweet. I will never forgive you, Sung Han Bin, all lower cap. <laughs> but Sung Han Bin is proper name capitalized. <laughs> I will <sighs> never forgive you, Sung Han Bin. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay himself is in the chat also saying he and Jay's never... here. oh my god Jay is here Jay. Jay Chang is here Jay Chang is here and he will never forgive someone <laughs> stupid oh, truly one of the best songs of the year in my opinion the best song coming out of 2020 uh, Boys Planet Okay. Next. You saw this little spoiler, but this is number eight. This is the best. NCT release of the year. I'm sorry, Baggy Jeans. I'm sorry, Fact Check. I also loved ISDJ, but this, this song injected mm -hmm. in my veins. It is so good. They are so sexy. In this they video. are so sexy in this. It's so sexy. It's holy hell. It's so hot. They are so sexy in this <clears throat> music video. I'm going to play you my favorite part, okay? Look at this man! <laughs> and you know, we know what else is big, Jungle. We've seen, we've, we saw the gifs, we saw the videos. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Oh, just look up jungle gray sweatpants and don't do this. <laughs> <sighs> Friedrichs our HR check. This song is so sexy. This song is so good. This song. And it's so funny because at the end of last year they released that like Christmas medley, remember? And I think that was your True first introduction to like NCT. I was like, you have to watch this. Yeah, because we, yes, we were, because see them in RJ's Christmas gift last year was that we because got tickets to 127. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was like, watch this. And I had no idea. I mean, I knew, I think I knew a couple NCT songs. You, Mark, and you know. And you I knew. Mark and Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Two baddies. Oh, two baddies, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's so good. This is this is my favorite NCT song of the year. Okay, number seven. Okay, girlies. I have never heard this. 
Mouse by Black Swan. Black Swan is a K-pop group of four who's, who's non-Koreans. <laughs> who's this girl? The girl in the back of the of that. Her? Yes. I don't know their names. I only girl. Know that's Naomi names. Smalls. I don't know girl, if that is Naomi Smalls. They that's need legs. to do a Black Swan lip sync for your life. Yes. So Fatu, Envy, Leia, no Gabby, and Shreya. I believe wow. those are the members. Yeah. Who are I they with? They are a group under DR Music. Sure. They are all not from Korea. They're from different countries. Um So, okay, I mean, this is this is new to my radar. I knew that they existed. I knew there was a group that was Black Swan mm-hmm. and that they're all um, from different countries. Mm-hmm. But when this song came out, I was like, this is so good. It's still, it's in that same vein of like, there's a little vintage in there. It's a little city pop almost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, it's just like a, a song that you get to like cruise while you're driving at night. It's so nice. Windows down. Windows down. Their voices sound amazing. Together, and for sure. I'm very excited to get to know them a little bit more. I only knew Fatu, really. Um, okay, so Fatu is from Senegal. Oh. Uh, Envy is from Alexandria, Virginia, USA. Oh, God. Um, she's the one with like the curly hair on the right. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Gabby the Blonde is Brazilian. Hi, Brazil. Brazilian German. Oh. And Sriya is, uh, I believe, from India. Yes, she's from uh, Odisha, India. Wow. Sh- they're, wow. And they're gorgeous. They sound yeah, they're amazing. So yeah. So I'm tuning in for more. Yes, it reminds me of Lilac. Oh, an amazing song. Oh. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like Lilac. That's so good. I am Nugu promo. I was giving Nugu. I was like, I want to highlight one Nugu group. New Nugu. Nugu. So I was, I was actually debating between Black Swan or Signature. I really liked one of the songs that Signature released this year. But I just- oh, you didn't want to pick the the one that already just disbanded, the baseball song. Oh, they're not. They're on hiatus, Adam. The the batter up or whatever. Batter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number six. So far away, getting far away, too far away. You're gone. I know I have to know. Yeah. So tell me, scared, not frightened. This song represents everything I love about Suga, about Augusty. It's this like, he is just the musicality, the lyrics. I mean, this man is a poet when it comes to lyrics. Nobody doesn't know anymore. There is something, because that was a lot of, I I I saw people being like, the English is obviously like convoluted, but he wrote this song in the pandemic. He's There's a like a explanation at the end of the music video where it's just him saying like, I wrote the song when I felt like everything was taken away from me. And there is something just like, I don't know, so visceral about the song in its simplicity. And like the lyrics are so evocative, and I use vocal vocals sound so. I use vocals like piercing, like it's like to the heart. It's so good. Yeah. It's Yung also a great so beautifully golden soft in this a, video too. 
Oh, his this video is so good. Uh, it's a great follow up to people too. Yes, not the first. People, on... people who, people need, who people need people are the luckiest people. Yeah, it was crazy when August D just started singing Barbra Streisand's Barbra Streisand. first album. I thought that was wild. Yeah, people yeah. featuring Barbra Streisand by August D. Yeah, <laughs> featuring. <laughs> Featuring Ba Ba Bara Studai Sudan. Studaisen Sombenim. Yeah, that song's great. I mean Hagen was I mean his this was like a home run, this album. This album is so so good. I'm so glad I saw this concert. Yeah, and even the concert was like like visually striking, wasn't it? I think I think I think Sugar Augusty had some of the most artistic work put out this year in terms of like the album, the concert, and that documentary were just so they were just real pieces that I was like, wow, this is I, I really know a lot more about his view of the world through right. these three things. Yeah. Totally. It's really good. Okay, number five. Okay, so yes, I have been saying I cheated. I was looking at Adam's list because I knew there were going to be a lot of crossovers. But I was like, I'm going to grant myself, if I had to grant myself like a true crossover between our lists, what would it be? And I really think it's fighting. It could have been fast forward, but I think it's fighting. Yeah. There is something so, this is a cathartic song. It feels just Mm -hmm. like, after so much has happened, I would say since 2020, this song just feels mm-hmm. like we're all just trying to do our best. We're all yeah. just trying to do it. Yeah. And yes, I think the Youngji feature is so good. And I was a fan of Youngji from her variety show and from Earth Arcade. So like seeing her have her like full circle. I'm a carrot. Hoshi is my bias. And then all mm-hmm. of a sudden now I'm singing with him. It's mm-hmm. amazing. I love Young G and I love the song. It's great. <sighs> oh, Abby said that this helped her uh, through their master's program. That's amazing. Here we go, number four. Oh, I love that moment of the honey. What's your ETA? 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 Okay, so this is the one I had to fix because I originally had Ditto in here and I swapped it for ETA. This video. The fact more- that multiple <laughs> New Jean songs can be on this list is psycho. There's I could put the, the entire album in here. I'm not joking. There's something in the water. There's, There's something, something in the water. I miss a door. A door Delano. Yeah. This song for me represents this whole like <laughs> thank you, Apple. Thank you, Apple Some. Shout out my Apple. Apple Some Benim. Represents kind of like what I think is this like story hago of new jeans in all of their videos. Mm-hmm. Of like they are almost like your internal impulses or something like that. Like they're not real people. The characters, mm-hmm. like the new jeans girls are not real people in the lives of 
the story that they're telling in this music video. Because in this music okay. video, they're basically like, he's with her, he's with another girl, you should really get to that party so you can see. And then Mama, she kills him at the end. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> it's and crazy. Girls, they're real. And like yeah. the same thing is with Ditto, right? Where like they're not real in this girl's like story of her like dealing through high school. Mm -hmm. They're not real in Cool With You. They're just like kind of angelic singing of this love story that's happening in yes. Paris, whatever the fuck. It's just there. It's ugh. their circumstances aren't real in yes. OMG. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's. And this song just, ugh, it's so good. It's so good. This concept for them, their like storyline. I'm so excited for more. I just, there's, I love it. I love it. Great. What can I say? Okay. I was a little, I've, if I wasn't as gouty, I probably would have pushed for, um, to go see them at Lala. Mm. But like, from everyone that I've heard, it's like it was so hot, and it was like all bros, and it sold out. And it's time out. we bought yeah. tickets. It, we, yeah, that's true. Out. But apparently, it was like all bros that like knew all their names. <laughs> sure. So good for them. Okay. Number three. I mean, I mean. Ugh, so good. There was a tweet that I saw that was like when eighth gen girlies repost this video and talk about how like K-pop was at its peak in fourth gen or whatever. <laughs> and they're going to yeah. share this video. And I was like, yeah, there is something I like they're like Soyeon is a legend. She's an icon. She's queen. She's mother. She knows how to make these bops. She knows her members so well. She knows like what roles they play. And I love the song. I love the white chicks reference. Like, ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just like she perfectly referenced what this was referencing. Yeah, it's so again. It's like um, it's like the TNX song. Like it's so studied. Yeah. It's so good. <sighs> But also the like once again, it's the like quirky girl with glasses mm -hmm. dreaming of being hot. It's so funny. Mew. Mew. Mew it was a huge year. It was a, it was huge, a huge year. year for girlies for and glasses. Getting LASIK. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So Queen Cards. Yeah, and we saw them live. We saw them live. They were so good live. Okay, gone. I scrumped the song. Scrumped. Scrumped. And it was so fun because it was their last, it, they had just finished their tour. So it was like, I'm so excited to never sing these songs for a long time. <laughs> so yeah. they were having so much fun. It was great. And then they did a comeback like two months later. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Good for you, girls. Get your coin, Jun Soyeon. Truly. Yeah. Sounds and great. you know what? No one hates Cube more than Jun Soyeon. So. It was it was yeah. that and guilty were my prob probably my two favorite dance challenges. Oh the, yeah, yeah. From the year with I other loved, idols. I loved I loved all the boys dancing to Queen. It's Carter. Changbin. It's Changbin. It's Changbin. Let's say it. It's Changbin. Okay. Changbin's giant ass. Girl, don't even start. Don't even start. I read an entire thread about how he's like bulking. I can't. I was like so turned on just by the ex it, just by them explaining <laughs> HR, HIE in the room. Just by them being like, so he what he's doing is he's getting his muscles to a point where they just keep getting bigger. And I was like, oh, God bless. <laughs> this isn't even porn. This is just a description of what it is. It's, I fully was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Number two. Chart. Okay. 
끝까지 다 사랑받지 못한데도 싫지 않아 I love you 슈가콘 따위 벌써 던진 나이 네가 뭐라든지 Just move 내 맘대로 나이 위한 춤이 추지 더 슈가커피 baby come Like says overrated to 변한 척 달빛이 쏟아져 더 자유로이 so, Kiss of Life, a group, a girl group that debuted this year, but Nati was in the survival show that formed twice and from us mm. nine. So we could have seen her in these groups, uh, but now she's in Kiss of Life, uh, an international group. Yes, Zhang Hao loves Nati. Um, this song, once again, strikes up the chord of that 90s R&B. Oh, no! <laughs> You spoiled my number one. <laughs> so, Who is you? Who you did that? I know. I I was hovering over the mouse pointer. Uh, and yeah, so Nati is my truly my favorite female solo of the year. I think Fast Forward is up there with her, but this I just there's so much personality and like X factor in the song. The Kiss of Life is a four-member girl group, and their creative director was like a former like idol as well. In terms of girl solos, I probably in my top twenty, I probably could have put "Flower" by Jisoo. Oh yeah, she was. I most I wrote mostly like the, the video. Oh, my God, the fucking dress. The the Dior commercial that it was. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it definitely wasn't Jenny's solo this year. It was cute. It, it was, was fine. The styling was fun because yeah. it was like kind of Sailor Moonish. To this day, isn't it crazy that La Lisa is still my favorite solo? Oh, I, La Lisa is so good. I don't La Lisa know. Lisa is care so about good, and it is yes for that bridge where she is in full tie, geesh. full tie drag. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's so good. Okay, well, I spoiled it. My number one is from. <laughs> If I were to give you a plea this year, it is to listen to From Us Nine's album, their full album where this came out. Yeah. This is a true evolution of their form. I was really scared, obviously, when John Giri left. I was like, are they going to rename? Are they going to get rid of that nine? What are they going to do? But they have been in such a trajectory since, I obviously, Playtis has its issues. Um, they barely let these girls do anything. But their music, genuinely, their music, like ever since Boom Zoo got in there, Mama, you can hear and feel that they have like kind of evolved into their own sound, which is almost this like dance adult vibe. So it is. Weird. It's interesting because RJ's. Tra so here's RJ's trajectory for people who don't know RJ's trajectory. RJ's trajectory started with Blackpink mm -hmm. and then he went to Oh My Girl. Yes, because I watched Subin and Arin on Music Bank. Yes. And I think. This, I think Promise is an elevated Oh My Girl. I'm not saying Oh My Girl is bad, but Oh My Girl is so bubblegum. Whereas mm -hmm. like this has like kind of like a little bit of an edge to it. Not yeah. not much, right? Because it's still right. like pretty, pretty pop. Pretty light and bright, yeah. yeah. Light and bright. But there is some, they're, they're like cooler. Yeah. Their songs are cooler, yeah. So it was truly... I was in my Oh My Girl era when they released Talk and Talk, which was their first Pledis release. And it was so cute that I was like, I think I have to deep dive into these girls because they're adorable. Yeah. And I got our friend, our good friend Ari, who's also who's a K-pop reactor on YouTube. I got her into From Us, so we're like true flovers. And Lovers. when the world tour happens, I will be the first one there, girl, buying that number nine light stick. I urge you please to listen to this album. Me now, hashtag me now, and attitude, perfect songs. 
they are so good and I just want more from them because I think they have they're they're able to like make a signature sound which I really love what before we go into our next segment Mm -hmm. um what is your favorite concert you went to this year Ooh, is it cheating if I say KCON yes it's cheating you cannot say KCON Probably card. <laughs> yeah. They were so hot. They were so hot. Those girls are so hot. <laughs> Imagine being a a bi pan girly. Oh my god. Watching card live. I felt I felt bi for a few minutes. I was like, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I I think I think card because they oh, oh, what was that? Um I think that they had oh is he saucing card? Um there was just something there where they were like they felt really connected with the crowd. Mine <sighs> is it unhypen? Or is it Augusty? It's probably Augusty. Because I just felt I felt the artistic vision with that concert, um, and the story that it was telling. Yeah. But also, I think my second favorite concert of the year. Again, we're not counting Kate Khan. Um, was probably NCT Dream. Dream. <laughs> no, it had to be TXT because I was VIP. Yeah. Girl. Sorry to say. But the fact I, that you were able to I, I watch, think, I think the the right. thing with Dream is I didn't know what to expect with Dream because right. I had we had seen one two seven and I, I totally different vibe. I didn't love the one two seven concert. No. I thought it was good. We did not have great seats. We did not. We have did not have great seats, and they like flew in that morning. Yeah, they were a little low, and Hey Chan wasn't there. He was still mm-hmm. sick, so that one two seven was great so i was a little nervous about dream but i really liked the dream concert and they also ended with candy which was if we had done this last year that would have been my top song of 2022 top song of the year yeah and i know that technically it wasn't a 2022 song because it's a cover but i don't care it, they changed the game um but yeah i also i mean and i had a great concert txc had a great concert p1 had a great concert only one oh. had a great concert we had a great year of concerts yeah. But I mean, n- nothing takes the cake quite like cake con. I want to see, I want to see, I need, we need to see the Seraphim when they come next yeah. year. Yeah. We need to see a girl group. Like, a we sw- need to see a, like a proper concert of a girl group. Yeah. 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 Oh, Ashley said it was Omega X for me. Well, just you wait. 